Spanish voiced stops and fricatives. So in this one, we're going to be looking at three voiced stops of Spanish and three voiced fricatives. So the stops are b, d, and g. And our fricatives are v, th, and g, r. Got to get that velar right, r. All right, so what we're mostly interested in here is the contrast, or if there is a contrast, between the voiced stops and the voiced fricative. So we're going to be looking at the ones that correlate in place of articulation. So for example, our bilabials, b and v, and our alveolars or alveolar dentals, d and v, and then our velars, g and r. Okay, so as always, the first thing we've got to do is just simply identify our phones. So we've got a v in number one, both a d and a v in number two, v in number three, v in number four, b in number five, v in number six, d and r in number seven, v in number eight, g in number nine, g in number 10, r in 11, r and v in number 12, and g and, sorry, g in 13, and r in 14. Okay, so now it's just a matter of listing our environments for each one of those. And it's gonna look something like this. So our b can begin a word followed by an e, or it can begin a word followed by an r. I can't do the tongue tip trail, but you get the idea, that nice Spanish rolled r. And then it can also come in the middle of a word preceded by m and followed by e. Then the v, we see it coming between an e and an e, an a and an o, an u and a t, u and an a. D, we find it only at the beginning of a word, followed by E. Th, we find it only following an A and preceding an O. We see G at the beginning of a word, as well as followed by an N. And then we find R in all of those environments, E, 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 A, 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 O, always in the middle between those two vowels, or between two vowels, I should say. So, Looking at this, I think we can see right away, there doesn't seem to be any pattern with our stops. So sometimes the stops come at the beginning of a word, but not always. Whereas the fricatives seem to never come at the beginning of a word, that seems significant. We also see it always coming before something else. That may be significant. So my first hypothesis, just kind of glancing at this data, is that maybe it has to come between two vowels. That certainly is what we see with the environments of r and v. But when we look at v, we see that there's a t in at least one of them. So that would seem to suggest maybe it just has to follow a vowel. And we can confirm that when we look at these stops, we never find the stops following a vowel. Okay, so now we're in a position to make a hypothesis. So we can go through and tackle these phone by phone. We're going to assume that underlyingly they're stops because the stops seem to be in that elsewhere position. It's the fricatives that are specified. The stops are everywhere else. So in that way, we assume that the underlying one is the one that occurs elsewhere. So we say, for example, that b becomes v when it's preceded by a vowel. So that capital V means a vowel. And then as always, this line just means where we find our target. So b becomes v after a vowel and b is b elsewhere. And then we would have the same sort of rule for g becoming r and d becoming v. All right. Now, 
That all sounds pretty good. However, we want to generalize. What we see, so if we go back to that previous one, we see that our rules are really similar and it seems like we're, we're missing a generalization. And whenever possible, if we can write a single rule to capture all the data, go for the single rule. That's Occam's razor. Now, in this case, we're going for two rules instead of six. That's a pretty good simplification. That's a pretty good generalization. So now what we're going to say is instead of listing da, ba, and ga, we're going to say voiced stop becomes a fricative when it follows a vowel. And it's just assumed that it's going to stay in that same place of articulation, whether it's a bilabial to begin with or an alveolar or a velar, it will stay in that same place of articulation. All the changes is that it becomes a fricative. And then it's a stop everywhere else. All right, so that's what we want to do to capture these sorts of generalizations that account for all of the data that we see.